you know there is no like real way to spot reduce your fat like you can't choose where you're gonna lose the fat from disappointed but what about your face fat and that's a very common question i get a lot what's your retention in your face how do i lose uh, face fat how do i make your face more defined well in this video i'm gonna take a look at it and we're gonna actually look at an example also by a famous uh, instagram influencer and an athlete larry wheels do it so if you don't know, then Larry Wheels, he's um, a very famous uh, strength athlete, powerlifter, bodybuilder, what you want to call. And I uh, do check out his content every once in a while because he has like some crazy lifts and uh, huge numbers. Uh, he does take steroids, he admi admits to that. And uh, one recent post yesterday that I saw uh, was actually him talking about how steroids, taking steroids, uh, basically aged his face and made him look a lot older. So this... Uh, I don't. I haven't followed him uh, that closely, but I, I do think that he's like uh, taking less steroids than he did in the past. So he's like you know changing his cycle or whatever. Uh, so he's not on that much steroids as he was in the past. And apparently this was him before, and now he's taking less steroids, uh, and uh, or maybe he's on TRT or something. Uh, and this is his face now. So you can see there's a yeah like a significant difference in terms of the way he looks. Maybe because of this is also the lighting, you know, this uh, this like, you know, direct face shot with a bunch of lightings on his face. Obviously, his wrinkles are going to show much more with this, you know, projector shining on his face, making his face look more, you know, bloated or puffy. But there is still a significant difference regardless of that as well in terms of the water retention around the face. Is this like, you know, uh, aged face? He does look, you know, a lot older uh, for sure. But I think still most of this change comes from the water retention that uh, these performance enhancing drugs cause. And uh, yeah, different kinds of steroids and PEDs, they do make you retain water in the face and, uh, you know, also make you like, you know, look more puffy and older as you uh, normally would because of this, like, you know, increased testosterone and androgens that you uh, experience that uh, makes you look a lot older uh, than you uh, would. And it's also pretty crazy to think because, you know, Larry Wheels is actually younger than me. <laughs> so uh, we're, you know, born in the same year. I'm also 1994, but I'm th about uh, three months older than him. So he's as old as me pretty much, you know, only three months younger even than me, but he looks still significantly older than me. And obviously a lot of it has to do with, you know, the steroids that he uses. And, um, you know, this, there is, in my opinion, the um, increased like, you know, androgens and stuff that uh, you uh, experience that also makes you look older from that. So it's inevitable that you have like super high testosterone levels and you probably will look older as a result of that as well. And if you do take steroids, then that makes you age significantly older as well. But regardless, you know, you and I would not take steroids and you may be just interested in losing the face uh, fat and losing the water retention in the face. So, you know, although, yeah, Larry Wheels, transformation, if you want to call it, was mostly uh, mediated by him not taking that many steroids anymore. Uh, but he also probably, you know, lost a bit of uh, weight in so doing and uh, the losing the water retention can be done through different things. Obviously, number one thing that you need to do is uh, lose weight. So, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how much kind of tricks you do uh, if you're still, let's say, at 20% body fat or 35% body fat or something like that, you're still going to have a significant amount of uh, fat and water in your face even uh, just because of that. You probably need to lose a lot more weight than you think before you can get like, you know, the defined face line and uh, lose uh, or get the results that you are you're after. Most people underestimate how much weight they actually need to lose. And if you think that you need to lose, let's say five kilograms of weight to get your to your ideal weight and get to like a six pack abs, then in reality, you probably need to lose like seven kilograms or something. So yeah, you probably need to lose a lot more significantly more weight than you think you would. 48% body fat. Number two would also be coming more insulin sensitive. So uh, many people, confuse or they make the mistake thinking that eating carbs or something is going to make their uh, water or make their face balloon up and uh, make the retain water in the face. You know, yes, it is true. Insulin makes you hold on water. You know, it still depends on your insulin sensitivity. If you're really insulin sensitive, you're able to dispose the glucose into your muscle cells 
and instead of keeping it in the bloodstream, then um, it doesn't matter if you eat more carbs, uh, you're still not going to like uh, retain the water. The way you become insulin sensitive is to just lift weights and lose weight. So that, those are the two most powerful ways to become more insulin sensitive. And uh, yeah, you need to lift weights in order to signal the body that uh, you need to shuttle the glucose into the muscle cells and you also need to lose weight in order to like sensitize your insulin signaling pathways. The same applies to creatine. So uh, people are afraid of taking creatine because they're afraid that it makes them hold on to water specifically around the face. So yeah, I mean, that can be possible if you're you know somewhat sensitive to it. Uh, I do take creatine. I don't experience any bloating or any water retention from that because creatine, what it does is that it you know directs the water into the muscles. So you still need to lift uh, and uh, you need to make sure that uh, maybe you need to take a little bit less if you're sensitive to it. But yeah, lifting weights and uh, being in a calorie deficit, it doesn't matter how much creatine you would take. You're not going to like, you know, bloat up from that if you're in a calorie deficit. Now, although I do think that you don't need to be on a low carb diet per se, uh, I do think that some aspects for carb cycling is very beneficial to not only improve your insulin sensitivity, but also flush out some water in so doing, because yeah, being in ketosis, being on a low carb intake does make you excrete some water more so than being on a high carb diet, but uh, being on a low carb intake all the time may uh, jeopardize your insulin sensitivity. So carb cycling, in my opinion, carb backloading is what I like to do, eating carbs after a workout. That's kind of the best way to maintain your insulin sensitivity while at the same time lose some water weight and uh, lose some uh, overall uh, fat and weight in the process as well. Did you just say I was fat? Number three, there are like also some natural diuretics that you could take to help to flush out some uh, water. Uh, those include just regular black coffee, different kinds of herbal teas, green teas. Those are amazing. Taking a sauna can also be like a diuretic because you know you do sweat a ton when you're in the sauna and you lose water weight in the process. So that's a very you know that's how uh, MMA fighters and that's how boxers or wrestlers weightlifters, bodybuilders, they all lose weight by just sweating a lot. So uh, being in a sauna is great for that. And uh, you do lose a lot of uh, water weight in the process as well. So sometimes, you know, you had like a bad night or uh, you ate some bad foods, then taking a sauna the next day afterwards can help you to lose some of that water weight uh, quickly. Now, if you combine the sauna with an ice bath or a cold shower, cold plunge, uh, winter swimming, whatever it is, then that's also a great way to uh, lose water weight. And, you know, plunging your face in cold water is uh, also very uh, effective in terms of doing that. It's also very beneficial for like skin health, like, you know, it helps to uh, circulate blood to the skin and uh, that's you know, gonna be beneficial from an anti-aging and helps to um, you know stave off uh, some wrinkles. Some natural diuretic foods include like artichoke, cleeks, uh, onions and uh, garlic. Lastly, very important obviously is to also make sure you sleep enough. So sleep deprivation, being stressed out and uh, not getting the adequate uh, good quality sleep, then that will also make your face like you know puff up probably so uh, from the stress and water retention so yeah just make sure that you sleep properly and you don't deprive yourself of sleep you can also put like ice packs or cold packs on your face and cool down and that's also going to help to basically lower the inflammation and uh, lower the water rate all right there you can see there's a plenty of things that you can do like to reduce the inflammation and the edema and water retention in your face but uh, probably the most important thing that you still need to do is lose some weight and that's going to improve the uh, facial aesthetics that's going to improve the anti-aging of the face essentially you're going to look better and uh, you'll you know have more definition in the face and chances are you'll be more attractive in the process but on that thanks for watching this video make sure you click the like subscribe notification bell as well my name is seem stay optimized stay empowered